You know, from the moment I saw this story, I was drawn to it. I was drawn to click on it. And um, it's a sad story. It's a very sad story. Before I cover this story, though, I do want to put out there, uh, people, life is too short. You know, even on YouTube, don't, life is too short. You know, um, and for content creators, you have to realize, you know, people see you as competition on here. And which takes the fun out of the whole experience. The whole YouTube experience is supposed to be fun. It's not supposed to be based on competition and all these underhanded things and stuff that, you know, that, that people do on here. But at the end of the day, you know, if you realize that, you know, you being a subscriber isn't appreciated on the channel, uh, if people have you blocked where you don't have a voice to speak, you know, unsubscribe from that channel. That pretty much tells you you're dirt to them. You know, unsubscribe. Life is too short for this, you know. At the end of the day, your gift is not going to be my gift. My gift is not going to be your gift. You know, it's up to everybody to find their own gifts. And um, so, you know, basically, in other words, don't be a fool when you come on YouTube. You know, check that fool in at the door before you enter YouTube. Because um, life is too short. Uh, uh, this article stated that the boxer Patrick Day died from a brain trauma sustained in a fight. And as it turns out, he was fighting another black guy who was an American. He's only 27 years old. I thought it was so sad. Um, yeah, he was uh, Saturday night, you know. He died after after sustaining head injuries during a Saturday fight in Chicago that left him in a coma. And that's so scary, you know. Maybe that was his passion. I don't know if he did this as a, you know, to earn a living or if this was his passion in life. But, um, you know, I'm sure when he stepped into that ring, he didn't know that, you know, he was going to sustain those type of injuries. Uh, here's the official statement. Patrick Day passed away today, October 16th, 2019, succumbing to the traumatic brain injury he suffered in his fight this past Saturday, October 12th, at the Wintrust Arena in Chicago, Illinois. He was surrounded by his family, close friends, and members of his boxing team, including his mentor, friend, and trainer, Joe Higgins. On behalf of Patrick's family team and those closest to him, we are grateful for the prayers, expressions of support, and outpouring of love for Pat that have been so obvious since his injury. Uh, he never regained consciousness after the knockout in the ring. You know, and when something like this happens, it immediately makes me think how the person that hit him his opponent, how that opponent feels about something like this. Because, I mean, I don't know. To me, it would be a very traumatic thing to know that as a result of, you know, the sport and my blows that I actually kill somebody. Uh, apparently, this is Conwell's statement. This is his statement. Oh, I, I and... I'm doing this real time, guys. I didn't rehearse any of this, but um, I guess coincidentally, here's his statement. I never meant for this to happen to you. All I ever wanted to do was win. If I could take it all back, I would.
Yeah, this is sad, guys. I don't want to read the whole statement. But I will say here, I prayed for you so many times and shed so many tears. And that's all I'm going to say. But this is very sad. You have to be a cold person not to feel the sadness in this. He was a son, brother, and good friend to many. That's hard to find these days. This is him. So sad. This is a sad story. Very sad. His opponent said, I thought about quitting boxing, but I know that's not what you would want. I, I don't know. It makes me wonder if, if this is all some kind of publicity stunt. You know, I think at the end of the day, he wanted to win, even if it meant that guy's life. It's unfortunate that it happened, but I think at the end of the day, you winning meant more to you than that guy's life. So, I mean, somebody's gonna have to call it exactly what it is. And I have the guts to do that. I'm sad for the victim. And, and you know, and I really wonder if he even wrote this. Because sometimes they don't even write this stuff themselves. They have other people to write it for them and tweak it and get it just right. You know, I would love to have seen him speak. And then that way I know you're not reading from a pamphlet or, you know, anything like that. It just makes you wonder. Oh, he was 21. Lord, I didn't know the guy was 21. Wonder if this is him up here. Yeah, this is him right here. Wow. It's crazy. Life is just that short. Yeah, this is sad, guys. Really sad. 